Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday to everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made and we are choosing to rejoice and we're choosing to be glad in it. Come on in Faith Room, it's a Monday edition and we are happy that this is a motivational Monday here in the Faith Room. I'm riding solo today. Pastor Cherie's taking a needed break, and I'm here solo this morning uh, to encourage you as we begin a brand new week. Come on in, everybody. Y'all help Pastor Nate by doing several things. Do me a favor and say good morning. And when you speak, I want you to do this. Declare your day. All right. I'm declaring a meaningful Monday, a meaningful Monday for me. And I'm putting that out there in the air. It's going to be a meaningful, meaningful, motivational Monday, and I'm excited about it. Come on in, everybody. Good morning to you, and I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do in this place today. So let me do this real quick. Y'all say hello to somebody, and let me go to work here, and let me get this party started on this motivational Monday. Y'all do know it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. No drama. No mess and no stress. It's going to be a great day uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, so come on in. Let me go ahead and share this to my page really quickly. Bam, it's gone. I've shared it to my page. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to tag and I'm going to begin to share. If you're there in YouTube world, go ahead and like this video right now. Like it. And then I want you to go ahead, if you've not subscribed, if you're there on YouTube world, go ahead and subscribe and that will help us tremendously, okay? So let me do this this morning. All right, let me begin to tag some folk up in this thing today and uh, we're gonna have a good time in the faith room. Have a very, 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 very important motivation for you this morning. So I want you to get as many people in here as you can. The Lord gave me a download um, really this morning, really. Uh, as I begin to pray about how to push us into this brand new week, okay? So let me go ahead and tag and share. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get folk up in the room now as we begin this Motivational Monday. Good morning to everybody. Come on in. Let me see who coming in here. Let me see who coming in here. Go on and declare your day. What's up, Woodard? Woodard, Woodard, Big D. What's up, Maisha? Going home, Minister Verna, God bless you. Great word yesterday. I'm going to give you a buzz today. I did watch the service uh, last night. Good morning, Stephanie, Tamika J. Good to see y'all. Come on in here, everybody. Come on in here. Good to see you, Latoya G. Crystal Ryan, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in, everybody. Motivational Monday. Whitney Williams, good morning to you, my sisters. Striving Bailey, Ruby Barnes, Gwen Rose Kelly is up in the room. All right. Come on, y'all. Tag. Tag. And let's go to work. It's going to be a marvelous Monday. Cassandra, it is going to be a marvelous Monday. It's going to be a marvelous Monday. My cousin, what's up, Vern? Good to see you this morning. Come on, y'all. Let's tag away. Let's get some folk up in this room today. Let me see here. I'm tagging on my end. We're not going to be very long this morning. It's going to be a short motivation on Monday, uh, but it's nonetheless going to be very powerful as we go into this brand new week, okay? So let me tag some folk up in this thing today. God bless you all for being in the room. Pastor KJ, saw your message, man, this morning. I'll give you a buzz, Doc. I will give you a buzz, okay? All right, y'all. Let me hear some motivation, y'all. Magnificent mind Settling Monday. I like that, Rose. Mind settling Monday. I like that. My mind is settled. My mind is settled. I love it. My mind is settled. Margaret Simpson, Latoja Corbin, Rebecca, good to see you. Linda, God bless you guys. Come on in, everybody. Uh, let's go. Let's go. All right. I'm tagging y'all. That's what I'm doing. Y'all got to speak to each other while I tag now. So it won't seem like I'm not paying y'all any attention. And Jatoria, what's up? What's up? Jayla Wilson, good morning. Good morning. Come on, y'all. Let's get them up in this thing today. Let's go. Let go. All right. Let's see here. Let me tag away here. 
All right, I'm tagging, I'm tagging. Good morning to everybody. LaShonda Smith, Jamie Richardson. Good morning. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Phaedra, good to see you. Judith, good morning to you. Good morning. I just tagged James, Judith, and you up and he may be nearby. Pastor Doris, good morning. Y'all get your coffee, whatever you're drinking on. Come on here. Me, me, what's going on? Richard Miller, good to see you. Rich, man, let me tell you, that there's a story behind my haircut this weekend, man. Uh, my main guy didn't hook me up before I left town. So I was on a I was on a voyage in Las Vegas. And uh, I have to tell you about it, man. I have to tell you about it. But it's it's funny, but uh, but I was on a mission to get this haircut right. Uh, and y'all know if you're on the road, y'all know how it is when you when you don't know where the good spots are. What's up, Lanks? Good to see you, Minister. Uh, you don't know where the good spots are on the road, and then you can get recommendations, and then the recommendation don't give you the best record. Y'all see what I'm saying? All right, so I literally, I have to tell y'all, let me get some more folk in the room. We're at 101 right now, so we already hit our goal. All right, so, uh, yeah, I have to tell y'all about it. What's up? Pam, I'm going to tell the story in just a minute. Crystal Van Dyke, y'all pray for her mom, Crystal's mom, who's, um, you know, been fighting illness. Crystal, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you and your family right now in this very difficult time. I thank you, God, that you're giving this family uh, the comfort and the strength that they need. Bless Crystal and her siblings. Thank you for their mother. Thank you that even now her mom is in your care in Jesus name. Amen. Y'all pray for Crystal Van Dyke. Call her name as her mom uh, took a turn uh, for the worst. But we believe God. We trust that his will is going to be done. But Crystal, you're in the room today. And that says a whole lot about your faith, that despite what's going on, you're in the room this morning. And I give uh, you salute for that. Amen. Because that's what it's all about. We also have another faith rumor whose godson was murdered this past Friday. I was out of town. One of my partners, I think it's 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 the talk in the city. Um, this young man was murdered on Friday, and so we want to pray uh, for the for the family. All right. So it just it 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 don't stop, y'all. It don't it don't stop. It's and so we have to pray uh, right now. And I think I just called her name. All right. Um, yeah, your godson Malika. Uh, I just made mention of that, and you're in the room. Uh, he was murdered on Friday, uh, y'all. And we need to pray for these young people in, 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 in the world. Pray for the world, but these young people are taking, I mean, they're just taking people's lives. There, there's a video that I saw of a, of a fight that was happening in Chicago. Did y'all see that video? And somebody came up the road and just rammed into these young people, man. And three of them died just this past weekend in Chicago, Illinois. So, man, we got a lot to be praying about, man. Uh, uh, somebody said Little Rock we had 11 shootings in 24 hours over the weekend three murdered wow I don't know are, are you speaking of Little Rock Tam or just nationwide that is crazy 11 shootings in 24 hours over the weekend in, in Little Rock wow in Little Rock 11 shootings in Little Rock Arkansas and three people died y'all that's serious that, 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 that's real stuff, man. And um, and we need to be in prayer. We need to be in prayer. We need to be seeking the face of God. Little Rock, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, absolutely it is. That is that is wild, man. Father, cover us. Cover us, Lord, as we go to and from. Father, I pray for your, your peace over the nation and over the world. More importantly, God, these are the signs of the end of time. And I pray that believers will take their post and sound the trumpet against sin, against iniquity. And God, that we will sound the trumpet of hope, that we will give hope to a dying world in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Wow, guys, we got to pray. And I'm so uh, serious about that. It's crazy. Everywhere you go, you don't have to be doing anything wrong. Um, have to do anything wrong. There's a lot. Uh, there's also the cartel work in Mexico right now. They're lighting cars on fire. 
Judas settles. They're lighting cars on fire. All right, the cartel. Hey, man, listen, we just got to be prayerful, guys. And uh, we don't pray uh, because of trouble. We pray in spite of trouble. We should always be praying. Uh, and that's so, so real. Uh, Rich Miller, yeah, people don't value life. And I would argue they feel there's no value to their life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why would I value your life if I don't feel like there is value in my life? That's so good, Rich. And that is so true, man of God. Amen. We got to pray, y'all. Please pray for North Little Rock and Little Rock. 11 shootings. That's another one. Barbara, we just made mention of that, sis. And uh, that is that is real. And, uh, yeah, that, that's a lot going on. All right. So, listen, y'all, let's uh, let's get some people in the room. We need some motivation today. And uh, I'm going to give you that. Again, Pastor Sheree is taking a needed break. And uh, I wanted her to do that today because they had a – I think they had a church uh, celebration this weekend, a family day. Um, and so they had a good gathering there in Little Rock. So she's taking a break to rest and she will be back with us, Lord willing, on tomorrow morning. Pastor Don Burst, God bless you, my brother. Good morning to you. Great host this weekend. You and Pastor Poole and Pastor uh, Chris Brown and um uh, the other two pastors whose name I don't remember, but you know them. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Pastor Burst, for being an amazing host uh, on this past on this past weekend. God bless you and the pastors of Las Vegas, Nevada. All right. God bless you. Kim Fife, good morning. Mind over matter. Brittany, what's going on? All right, y'all. We're going to start in a, another two minutes. Tamika Davis, God bless you. Tony Gant. All right. Hold on, Tony. It's today's your birthday. Happy birthday, my brother. Y'all wish Tony a happy birthday up in this thing. Happy birthday, T. Gant. All right. Wish him a happy birthday, Faith Room. Good, good morning. Happy birthday, my brother. I would sing for you, but my throat a little raspy, Tony. <coughs> Y'all know when singers do that. <coughs> Man, just sing the song. <laughs> or they say this, y'all. Uh, y'all pray for me. I've been I've been singing all weekend, so I don't know how this gonna go. <laughs> y'all bear with me. Just sing the song, man. I want to hear all that. Y'all setting it up and all that. Just sing the doggone song. All right, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, y'all know, yeah. Had a sore throat all weekend, but uh, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Y'all pray and I'll sing. Uh, <laughs> boy, that's a pet peeve. Just sing the song, all right? All right, it will, it will be good. Happy birthday, Tony. Turn up. Tony, turn up. You in Vegas, turn up. All right, good morning, T. Lewis. Good morning, Lisa Sanders. There. Tony, it's a birthday party in the faith room, man. All right. Y'all keep tagging. Come on, we're at 132. 132. All right, keep tagging away. 132. Brandy Clay. Yeah, they saying happy birthday to Tony. Good morning. All right. Good morning. I see y'all. Sing the song. Sing the song, Ann. No, y'all, what did Ike say? Sing the song like I told you to sing the song. And you ain't coming from the belly. And that's what the song is. That's why we ain't selling these records, and because you ain't singing from here. You got to get down. Yeah, Ike was something. Well, I know I know every line in that movie. I probably watched that movie 10 times. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. And? <laughs> Boy, I love that movie. Y'all need to watch movies to clear your head and turn off all this other stuff. To watch a good movie and laugh. Nah, 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 and? Uh-huh. Ike was something else. Yeah. Until she reached the end of the road. I come to the end of the road. Kadrick. <laughs> she came to the end of the road in that, uh, in that limousine. Yep, she did. All right, y'all, give me one minute. We're at 150. Let's go. Good morning. We moving slow. Let's go. 
We need to be at 200 right now. I know it's a slow Monday. It's a slow moving Monday, but that's all right. I know how I'd be. Yeah, I know how I'd be. All right, let me see. I think I got everybody I need to tag. I think I do. Let me see. All right. It's going to be a great, great day, y'all. It's going to be a great, great day. I'm tagging some more people. All right, here's the question of the day. How was your weekend? I know. I, Sheree ain't here today. I'm sorry. How was your weekend? Question. I ain't got the song loaded. Question of the day. You're here with Pastor Nate and Elder Sheree. We on this thing. Can't you see? Question of the day. Here we go. How was your weekend? That's it. Remix. That's all I got. Remix version. Remix version. Question of the day. Come on. Tell me how was your weekend, guys? Real quick. How was your weekend? What's up? What what you do, what did you do this weekend? Question of the day. Here we go. Let's go. How was your weekend, guys? What are, I ain't got no song loaded. I ain't downloading nothing. I ain't trying to play. So that's the remix version. All right. I ain't cued nothing up. I can be in here and lie, or I could just tell y'all the truth. I don't have the song. All right. Cherie got all that stuff, and I need to get it downloaded so when she's not on the show, we can keep that song. Because y'all like that song, right? All right. Bobby, what's up, man? Good to see you. Bobby said, beautiful time to myself. Bobby, that's a good weekend, brother. That's a good weekend, Bobby. Bless. Somebody said, bless weekend. All right. Uh, it was a great weekend, busy, but fun. I'm tired. Y'all heard y'all turn up there, uh, sis. Um, so we went out to eat Sunday church. All right, good. Church this weekend was spent in Napa, Napa, California. I know what y'all were doing in Napa, baby. Busy 50th birthday party, black reunion in Santa Barbara with my brother-in-law, got her Dane in, oh, wow, Fandra, Phaedra. That was a good weekend. All right. All right, what they say, Rich? They say never miss your water. You do well when dry. With that being said, we miss you, Pastor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Rich. Why did I put that comment up? Hanging out with the family. All right, good. My weekend was full of chores. Went to the zoo with coworkers and Sunday church and then baby shower. That's the weekend tour. That's a busy weekend, girl. All right, Saturday went to, uh, to the water. Uh, park with my grandbaby, then on the boat, went on a trolley. Praise God. Y'all doing good. My weekend was good. All right. I'm catching some of your, your weekend, y'all. Interesting. Rich went on the bike this weekend. Back to school shopping for the kids. Harry, I know that was fun. Pastor Harry, I know you had a good time doing that, man. All right. What y'all do this weekend? Talk to Pastor Nate up in here today. What y'all do this weekend? Let me know. All right. Let's see here. What we got here. Interesting. Attended LBGT fundraiser. Thought it was something that had to do with work. Learn their agenda. Very inter interesting. Karen, Kareem. All right. Sharice, uh, I kept my net niece and nephew seven and three this weekend. All right. Sounds good. Christopher Turner, rest, church. That's a good weekend. Rest in church, baby. Rest in church. All right. Supportive love and comfort to do to my friend's son getting murdered. Boy, another funeral. Another funeral. That, that young man. Dinner cruise around San Diego Harbor at church all day Sunday. Good weekend. Dinner cruise. Y'all, if you've never been on a dinner cruise, they're real fun. You just got to eat fast. Bring your peps at AC because it seems like as soon as you leave, you you going back. So eat, you got to eat fast. Tracy said I had a great weekend celebrating her best friend's birthday. Tracy, Tracy too. I spent time with my family. Now, Je now that's a weekend for the saint right there. Jerry Robinson. Look, notice what Jerry said she did. Baby face and Keith Sweat concert. Uh, she living her best life, y'all. That's a that's a weekend for you right there. Spent time with family. Uh, all right. You were blessed this weekend. All right. Yeah. Got to eat fast on them, them dinner crew. Bittersweet. 
Busy, fun basketball game for my daughter. Celebration for my son's 18th birthday, which is tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I, I got you, Maisha. Bittersweet. Rams game for your mom's birthday. Celeste took her mom to the Rams game. That's what's up. That's what's up. The Rams, baby. All right. Uh, attending my son's soccer game. All right, good deal. Soccer game. That's a good weekend. The Rams, all right. Here we go, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get started. Let me tag one more pe person here. Jerry, baby face. How was it, Jerry? How was it? How was it? We brought my mom to the Season Saints event. That's good. I heard that event went really good, Mimi. I heard it went really well. The Seasoned Saints at G Life. My cousin Jay said he went to a high school football game. Jody, how them Southwest Patriots looking this year, man? That's my alma mater. How, how my Patriots looking this uh, this year, Southwest, home of the Patriots, making Georgia. All right. All right, y'all. Let's get started. We're at 198, almost at 200. Let's go on and hit that 200 mark, and then we'll be ready to roll. All right. All right, tagging a few more people in here, and we'll be ready to go. Good morning. <clears throat> they said you, you said they look okay, Jay. All right, that's good. That's good. Uh, Southwest, y'all. Back in the day when I was in high school, you couldn't, you could not. I think it was maybe like the Lincoln Hornets out here in San Diego, Rich. You could get, you couldn't get in the stadium. Southwest, Central. I mean, you know, you had those rival games. Boy, I never forget those days. Never forget those days, man. The Southwest High School. Uh, Patriots. I'm talking about the Raiders, the Patriots, Southwest Patriots. All right. Let me go ahead and get started. I, I really miss Sheree today because I could be tagging while she's talking to y'all, but y'all got to be, y'all got to be the co-host today because uh, it's hard to do both, both and so hard to do both. Blessings to the faith room. Thank you, sister. God bless you. God bless you. All right here. Judith. All right. Yeah, y'all, we prayed for Brother Jamal, and he was released from the hospital. Uh, he rung the bell. So cancer freedom is in view. Amen. We thank God for Brother Jamal and the prayers lifted up to him. All right. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, sister. Good to see you. I think I just tagged you, Wendy, and you up in here. God bless you, my sister. Thank you for being in the room. All right, y'all, listen, I want to get started with this scripture this morning. Deuteronomy Chapter 31 in verse number eight, it says these words, the Lord himself, watch this, goes before you and will be with you. Here's your motivation for this Monday. Here, here, is, here is your scripture, Deuteronomy 31 and eight. As we look at this motivational Monday and really as we set up the week, the Lord himself goes before you. Now, I want you to digest that and I want you to really get that in your spirit that every day, you and I exist, God, the Lord, Holy Spirit goes before us. They, they go before us and will be with you, all right? So they proceed us, all right? And so I want you to be motivated by that, that, that as we just looked at 11 shootings in Little Rock, we looked at murders out here on the West Coast, we look at all of the inflation that's happening right now, um, as it relates to prices and gas and all of these things, groceries now. Uh, I, I went through, and, and, and this is just something I did because I was, I was running. I went through the McDonald's drive-thru, and I don't even really eat McDonald's anymore with this healthy lifestyle that I'm trying to live and, and trying to live a long life. Pastor Wiley, good morning. Uh, and y'all, I went there and I asked for two hash browns, right? And, and I, ain't, I haven't been in so long. I asked for two hash browns. And that thing was five sixty eight. Two hash browns was five dollars and sixty eight cent. And y'all, I remember when I would get those hash browns, and they were just a dollar. All right, and and but but because of inflation, you know, prices are rising. And so and so, in spite of, of that, here's a here's a motivation. The Lord is ahead of us, and regardless of what we're in as a nation, as a community. No matter what you're in as an individual, the Lord is with you. All right. What's up, Kay? Good to see you. 
um, the Lord is with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Now watch, now watch what he says. He says to God's people, do not be afraid or discouraged. I love those two words because all of us are not afraid uh, in this season. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but we don't necessarily have to be afraid to not be discouraged. And, I, and I've been there, y'all, where I'm not always afraid of what's going on around me, but I am discouraged by what's going on around me. And I'm not only discouraged by what's going on around me sometimes, but I'm discouraged sometimes as to what's going on within me. All right. Do I have a witness in the room that life sometimes has had you afraid and discouraged? Now, I want you to know if you can say yes to being afraid, yes to being discouraged, you go back to this reality. The Lord goes before you and he's with you. And here's the joy of God that no matter how bad it gets, faith room. He will never leave nor forsake you. That no matter how low you get, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how weary you are, no matter how weak you are, listen to these words, I will never forsake you. No matter how bad the addiction is, no matter how bad the pain is, look at the promise. Y'all look at the promise. I will never leave nor forsake forsake you. You know what the reality is? Guys, we're never alone. God is always with us. God is always by our side, reminding us that he is our God and that he is in complete control of our lives. Now, I want to share something with you this morning based on this scripture. And I want you to hear me very closely as we look at um, uh, this motivation uh, on today. Now, I want you to look at the title of what we've called uh, this particular show. Somebody, somebody, tell me the title of the show. I want to see if you. I want to see if you, uh, if you caught it. All right. What do we title the show? It's right there in the description, and I want y'all to type it in. I want y'all to type it in. It, it's something with navigate. I want y'all to type it in. If y'all see the description of what the title of this motivational money is, I want you to type it in. I want you to. I want you to type it in. All right. It should be right there in the description. Um, the power of what? The power of what? The power of navigation. All right. That's very good. It is the power of navigation. I want y'all to type that in. The power of navigation. All right. Type that in, everybody, because this is what I'm going to give you today. Uh, the power of navigation. All right. And, and, and here is your motivational Monday because there is power in proper navigation. And, and y'all... As we look at the climate of our country, of our community, the climate of our church, the climate of our own individual lives, what is so critical in this season is proper navigation. And one of the problems with us moving to next level living and even next level thinking is that we have improper navigation going on within our soul. I want to give you motivation today that when you navigate right, you then begin to take control of your life again. When you navigate right, you listen, negative thoughts can easily be turned into positive thoughts. When you navigate right, you can get to a place in your life where you feel as if something will never work. But when you navigate right, that thing will turn around and work together for your good. And the problem with some of us is that we're trying to live life without proper navigation. And thus, we are lost. Thus, we are confused. Watch me. We are frustrated. We're angry. We're snapping off on everybody. Everybody is wrong. But And so listen, when you don't navigate right, it even affects your spirit. It affects your outlook on life. Okay? And so I want to give you this Motivational Monday on today as it pertains to navigation. Now, I want to give you a working, listen, y'all, I want to give you a working definition of navigate. When you look at the term navigate, it's to plan and direct the route of course. When you navigate, what are you doing? I'm planning my course and I'm directing my course. Now, if you're not navigating, here's what you're literally not doing. You're not planning your course 
and there is no direction for your course. Can you imagine living that way? That when you're not living in a navigation system of life, you're not planning and you're not directing. And a life, hear me closely, Faith Room, that is not planned. Come on, uh, Curse. That's it, Chris. And a life that is not directed is what kind of life? It's a life that's lost. It's a life that's headed to destruction. It's a life with no purpose. It's a life with no joy. And what Passionate is going to encourage you this morning to do is that you need to understand that a navigation plan, a system of navigation is critical for your life. It's aimless. It's lost. Come on, guys. And I want you to see this. It, it, and, and does this represent your life? That you're going in circles. That nothing is changing. The door is revolving. It's the same old, same old. Come on. I love that, Vanessa, the late W.E. Manley. If you, if you fail to plan the plan, you plan to fail. There is no plan. How many of you can truly say, Pastor Nate, I wake up every day with direction and a plan? Because, see, guys, you think it's just about getting up, going to work, taking care of your kids, and starting over doing that the next day. There's no joy in that. There ought to be a plan for my life. There ought to be direction for my life. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm trying to reach. I know what I'm trying to accomplish. I know my goals. I know my objectives in life. I know my purpose in life. And some people are walking around without compass because there's no direction and there's no plan for their lives. I pray in the name of Jesus that if you don't know your plan, if you do not have direction, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that God will release a plan and give direction to your life. And I promise you that, that you're not going to wander in the wilderness for extra time when God wants to release a promised land to your life. And like the children of Israel who wandered in the wilderness because they did not buy in to the direction and plan of God. And some of you faith rumors, you're wandering in the wilderness because you're not working the plan that God has destined for your life. I want to help you today. And I, and I look at this because because I think about as many of you have um, have used. Uh, navigation system. This is very powerful. It's in your car. You can use navigation systems even on your watch. Now these watches are all smart and all of that. I want to help you. And and somebody just my cousin just hit me up. Why didn't you tag me? Well, cousin, why didn't you follow us? Okay, so you got to grow up now, cuz. It's time to grow up now. I can't keep tagging you. I can't keep tagging you every morning. All right, but I'm gonna go on and do it for today. Because she's uh, she asked me for it. OK, uh, I, I, I thought about navigation system. I hope this makes sense, y'all, because listen, here's your motivation. Come up with a plan. Come up with some directions. Pray about what God is trying to do in your life. Now, a navigation system is a computing system that aids in navigation. Now, watch this. I love this because when you look at a navigation mindset and when you understand the power of navigation, a navigational system, y'all, contains maps in geographical format. And so when I tap into navigation, watch this, I'm literally tapping into maps and formats. I want you to catch that now uh, because uh, it, it's very powerful to know that when I navigate, there is direction, that there is a course that has been laid out for my life. No, you're not lost. No, no, because when you tap into navigation, there are maps and geographical formats to help you get to where you need to be. Y'all, life, it, it, listen, I, I'm going to testify. Life has been hard for me in seasons, the difficulty and things I did not think I would endure and overcome. But here's the joy, y'all. Can you think back over a season that almost drove you crazy? Come on. I feel like shouting on this point. Uh, can you think back over a season that, that put you through so much pain and you can think about it right now, but here, here it is. How in the world could you go through what you went through, but still make it to your destination? Come on guys, because here's what I'm saying. Listen, the perils of life and the pain of life and the troubles of life and the test of life does not stop me when there's navigation in me. 
because I still have the map and I still have the format, though pain and trouble is in my life. I want to celebrate everybody who's still making it, still trucking, still moving forward, and you're still making it every day. Why? Because navigation is in you. Here's what I'm saying, y'all. The devil is trying to take your navigational system. If he can, oh, Jesus, if he can destroy your navigation, he, he then takes away the, the maps of your life and the formats of your life that's going to get you to where you need to be. The devil don't want your money. He wants your navigational system, your sense of direction, your sense of knowing where you're going. And here is what gives me joy, faith room, that though I'm going through what I'm going through, I'm feeling how I'm feeling. Listen to me. You can still make it to your destination. The Apostle Paul put it this way in Acts chapter 20 and verse 28. I feel the Holy Spirit on me now. The, the, the writer Paul, this great trailblazer of the gospel, this apostle to the Gentiles, he says, I go bound in the spirit. Uh -huh. Paul says, I'm going to Jerusalem bound in the spirit. I don't know who this is for, but some of you represent Paul and you're going bound in the spirit. But here is the shout. You're still going because I know that there is in me a plan and a system and a process. And I cannot stop until I get to where God is trying to take me. Somebody need to hear Pastor Nate this morning. You cannot stop because there's something in you that's already given you the direction for the course of your life. Paul says, even if I have to go bound, I'm going. Even if I have to go shackled, I'm going. And somebody listening and watching this morning, you're bound in the spirit. You're frustrated. You're ready to quit. You're tired. But look in you. There's a system in you that's giving you maps and formats to still make it. Somebody ought to type in, I'm still moving. I still survived. Why? Because there's a system in you that the enemy cannot break, but he's trying to break it. There's a system. So I like that. It, a navigational system contains maps and geographical format. But Pastor KJ, uh, listen, a, a, a navigational system determines my location. You know why I'm grateful for navigation? Because navigation don't lie. Navigation systems that are good, they let me know exactly where I am. Can I talk to y'all? And some of you have already caught what I've thrown. Navigation systems will tell you that you're not happy, you're depressed. A good navigational system will tell you that you're not as smart as you think you are. You still need to grow. Navigation systems let you know your exact location. It lets you know where you are. It does not tell you you're in a place where you're not. You are not as good as you think you are. You are, come on, you're not as gifted as you think you are. You're not as wise as you think you are. Your attitude is not as fixed, come on y'all, as you think it is. Navigation systems don't lie. And you have to look within yourself and find within yourself to tell yourself the truth that this is my current location. Where are you, Faith Room? Where are you this morning? Hey, listen, because here, here's the thing. Uh, uh, if, you, if you listen to a good 911 operator, here, here is the first question. What, what's your emergency? But then here's the second question. What's your location? And see, y'all, help cannot get to you until you admit your emergency and you let them know your location. And some of you cannot get the help that you call, the help that you need because you haven't identified the emergency and you have not identified your location. And God, heaven, heaven just wants you to let huh, they already know, but they want you to admit where you are. And what's your emergency? See, some of y'all, you can't get help because you're too blessed and highly favored. You can't get help because you're blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming, blessed going. You can't get no help because it's always lovely. It's always good. Always smell like roses in your life. But some of us need to testify that my location may represent that in some seasons, but that's not my location in all seasons. 
That is not my location in all seasons. Let me say it again. That is not my location in all seasons. Some of you have an emergency right now and you need heaven to dispatch help to you. But are you willing to admit your location? Because here's the joy of a good navigation system. I need 20 of y'all to shout. There are 211 of us in this room, 215 now in this room. Can we shout together? Listen, because a good navigation system will reroute you. Come on, I need somebody, Pastor Woodard, to admit that when you were off course and when you were in the wrong loc, I need a shout right here. Can somebody testify that God the navigation system of heaven rerouted you. You didn't die. You didn't, come on, you didn't lose it, but it rerouted you. And I thank God that every time I got off track, he didn't throw me away, but he recalculated and then he rerouted me. I feel God right there that somebody needs to know that even if your location is one that you're embarrassed by, even if your location represents a place where you're not proud to be, if you can admit your location, we serve a God who will reroute you. That if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. He is a God that will reroute you. Yea, uh, those who live godly in Christ, you're going to suffer persecution. But even with the persecution, come on, Vanessa, he will reroute you. And somebody ought to give God praise on this Motivational Monday that he rerouted you. Let me read some of the comments because I feel I feel kind of happy this morning. The only thing that will mess up your navigation being is being disconnected from the GPS, being connected to the satellites, that which is, whoo, Richard. Come on, comment, Pastor. Listen, it, as long as I'm connected to the, to the satellite that's higher than me. Come on, somebody. Are y'all shouting in this room this morning, man? Are y'all shouting in the room this morning? That listen, no matter what comes my way, I got to stay connected because listen, there's somebody higher than me that's able to do more than I can ever do. I, listen, y'all, admit your location today. Admit your location today. And, and, and here's another one, y'all. Here's another one. Provides suggested direction. See, see, a good navigation system will tell you, okay, you're trying to go here, but, but let me tell you, let me tell you, you don't need to go that way because a good navigational system reveals vehicles and hazards. Uh, KJ, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, if, if you ever use, I, I love my girl uh, who helps me all the time, Waze, W-A-Z-E. If you haven't downloaded the Waze app, uh, th th this, this lady is real cool. I like her a lot um, because she would tell you uh, police ahead. Uh -huh. uh, she, she would tell you uh, uh, heavy traffic ahead. And, and sometimes y'all, uh, I don't always see what's ahead of me. And so come on, pastor, be integral, be integral, pastor Nate. Let me be in integral again. See, if you trust God, you will remember the foundation that we laid. If you trust God who goes before you and see, you're throwing the temper tantrum and you losing your mind because uh, you've been rerouted and you've been redirected. And what you thought was the course, God takes you on this course because you think it's for bad, but it's really for good because there's a hazard ahead of you. There's a wreck ahead of you. There is traffic jam ahead of you. And you don't even see the traffic jam because God has a way of taking you off an exit and you over there getting off the exit crying and, and, and throwing a, 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 yeah, a pity party, but you ought to be celebrating that he got you out of danger and he took you another way because he loves you enough and he goes ahead of you, which means he sees what you cannot see. And because he sees what you cannot see, he puts you on a course that's going to get you to your destination quicker and much safer. I want you to know that he knows what's in front of you. That's why, y'all, you fell right into it. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. I want you to know this. I will not leave home without asking heaven, as Rich put it, 
the divine higher source than me to not direct my pathway. Can I tell y'all the only way we're going to make it through this Monday, all 220 of us, the only way we're going to make it through this Monday is that we need to put in the navigation system of life right now. God, I need you to direct me on this Monday. I need you, God, to go ahead of me and move things out of my way that would try to hurt me, hinder me, or harm me. God, I need you to go ahead of me. And I need you, God, to reroute and redirect me when I get off course. I need somebody to understand that you will crash and you will burn if you do not allow the divine GPS system of glory to direct your life. And let me tell you something. You are not too far off course to be redirected. It may take you longer to get there. But as long as you get there, you can give God praise for it. Uh, uh, come on, Rich. I love it. Y'all keep talking to me. The steps of a good man. They are ordered. Come on. There are scriptures all through the Bible. They are ordered by the Lord. That's it, Shalanda. I need you to direct and reroute and redirect me. Come on. I, I need y'all to understand that there's power in navigation. And I need somebody listening today. You feel like your life has come to this dead end road. Let me tell you, your life is not over. I know your money is looking crazy right now. I know the relationship is looking real dark right now, but you have not come to the end of your life. If you were at the end of your life, God wouldn't allow you to crack your eyes open this morning. There is still purpose. There's still work for you to do. And there, there are still things that you need to accomplish. I love you guys. And I wanted to give you this motivation today to let you know that we serve a God who can navigate, direct the course of our lives and get us to where we need to be. Father, I thank you for this motivational Monday on this morning. I thank you that you indeed are our divine navigation. Now, God, as we go into this day, will you protect us? Will you go ahead of us, God, and move things out of our life that shouldn't be in our path? Bless the faith room today. I thank you for this uh, gathering of people where we can come together and offer hope. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, let me read a few comments and any comments that you have, any questions you have, type them in. You're talking to me personally. Yes, I said that to someone uh, about what was recently exposed against me, mine. It was major. I'm talking jail time and killing someone from shock. But God kept me and my tribe. Right now, he's working out the navigation of my life to trust him and use my gifts to inspire. You see that, y'all? Uh, you, you, you see that, uh, Marita? Thank you so much for sharing that heartfelt message on today. Any other comments, y'all, before we go? Any other comments before we go? We have a brand new week, and uh, we're going to continue to help you navigate. That's going to be the theme this week, navigate. Show me how. Show me how. Show me the way. Direct the way. Direct the way. I love you guys. Hey, hold your head up. Be intentional about protecting your peace. Um, Yvette has a question, Faith Room. Let's see, can we help her, all right? Let's see, can we help her, all right? Are y'all seeing the question? How do I stay focused at work when I'm not valued? Yvette, let me tell you a true story. Let me tell you a true story. I um, I was serving in a position, and uh, of course, I was executive leadership, and um, and I know one of, the, one of the staffers, one of the staffers never... Uh, really came out of her office and engaged uh, the team. And so ultimately we had to make a decision to let this staffer go, right? And so I had to call the staffer in and let the staff know that uh, the season has come to an end and all of that. Uh, and the staffer with great grace uh, said, uh, Pastor Nate, thank you for the opportunity. Thank the organization, uh, all of that. So with great grace. And so um, uh, the staffer's office was vacated, uh, our maintenance team, uh, helped her get her stuff out. And 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 then y'all, so, so to, 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 to my surprise, one of the maintenance guys brought brought in Yvette uh, to my office, uh, just stacks of, you know, job uh, ads. And <clears throat> well, she was, she had Google jobs and, and he just threw them on, on the desk. And, and, and that really, that really disturbed me, but, but it really taught me something that, that she, um, that she, she was 
she was on a job, but yet for whatever reason, maybe the job wasn't fulfilling. So she was in search of another job. And so Yvette, here's what I, here's what I do know that, that you got to have common sense because uh, one of the things that you don't want to do is allow people to push you out before time. Here's why, because you got bills and, 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 and you have responsibilities financially. I want to say that to everybody. No one should have that much power over your life where you walk off a job and you ain't got nothing in place. You ain't got no plan B, C, D, E, F, G. You need to stay on that job because God says, I'm with you. I know it. I know it doesn't feel that way, but I'm not going to give people that much power that even though I'm the value, I'm still going to say this, God, there may be something better for me. And so while I'm working my current job, Yvette, my focus is, God, I trust that if there's something else for me, you will open the door and you will move me. Or God, here it is. It's not all about, let me say this, y'all. God's will is not always about putting you in situations where you're valued. Yvette, you could be exactly where God wants you to be. We think God's will is to be in a place where we're liked and we're valued. That's not always the case. I said on yesterday, God will not always pull you out, but he'll grow you in. Watch this. He won't always pull you out of it, but he'll grow you in the midst of it. And maybe God is trying to grow you, Yvette, in the midst of being devalued. Don't you walk off that job. Don't you leave that job. You stay there because that's where you're planted now. And God will do one or two things. He's going to grow you up in it. You're going to learn and get stronger in it. Or you know what he's going to do, Yvette? He's going to remove you and give you something even greater, all right? Let me look at some of your fellow faith rumors. Some places are designed for us to learn skills and techniques for our greater assignment. That's good. David in the Bible was given the job of protecting the sheep, though he was anointed to be king. But the skills he learned in the field, come on, help him kill the giant in the real battle. If God has you there, come on, you vet. That's a purpose. Rose Coleman said, remember, God is the rewarder of his children and his gifts follow us. When man recognizes us, that's the end of our reward. I'll take God's reward for eternity, Jesus, right? Uh, Wendy McKnight say, it's God's timing. You have to be in prayer for your next season. It will happen and you will be happier, all right? This is my sis, y'all. Uh, um, what you got, Case? Remain faithful to God. Uh, who allowed you to be there. We don't know how God will groom us. Go through it for the edification of your professional future. That's good. Um, Vanessa said, Yvette, I've been in that position on my job. Stay faithful, Yvette. Stay focused and continue to keep your eyes and ears open to something new. All right? Don't move to your next until there's a next to move to. Oh, my God. Would it? That's it. All right? That's it. Uh, Linda said, I wanted to be moved. I prayed God to move me and he moved me. Uh, Marita said, honestly, sometimes it's supposed to grow us by teaching us a lesson. Pray and trust God. What season are you in? Y'all are helping today, man. That's what makes the faith room so amazing because we help each other. All right. Somebody said, you bet your presence uh, affects the atmosphere, even when you don't know it, your presence. All right. There could be a lesson in it. For me, my toxic work environment developed a type of strength and resilience um, that I haven't had before. All right. Y'all see what she said? All right. Yvette said, I need this. Thank you. Y'all helping the room today, man. Y'all, 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 y'all helping the room today. Yvette said, I needed this. Thank you. All right. Yvette, we're family in here. All right. You have 207 people encouraging you right now. Uh, uh, let me see. A Christian said, I pray for emotional agility in the midst of folk appreci not appreciating me. That's knowing what to say, when to say it, and when I want it to pop. I now have oversight over them, and we know all things, all right? Learn people through their action. Otherwise, how can you manage them? God will put you over the people who's putting you through everything that you were going through. Ask God to keep your mind regulated, your esteem high, or you'd always know your value, regardless of man lack thereof. All right, y'all, I love you. Lavelle, what you say?
Stay waiting. Stay in waiting room until God gives you complete and direct navigation. That's good. That's good. Emotional agility. Yeah. Jamal. Love you, man. All right, y'all. Um, Melissa say, y'all, please pray. Uh, my faith don't fail. I believe things. It's just hard, but it ain't over. Y'all see, uh, y'all see why the faith room is so important, y'all. Uh, people are hurting, man. People need answers. And um, and we're in this thing together. Keep coming up in here, y'all, um, because it's very important that as a community, and this ain't, you know what I love about the faith room? It ain't about, it ain't, it ain't about one church. It's people from everywhere. Y'all, y'all see. My sis Christian, she's in she's in Florida. She's in Florida, man. But she's a woman of God. She's in we got people all over the country in here. All right. So this is not about one state, one city, one community, one pastor, one. This is about the kingdom, man. Pastor KJ, and I think we got to get that. It's about kingdom. And this is not about anything else but helping people in the kingdom and helping people outside of the kingdom get to where they need to be. Y'all just commenting now. So let me just see. I'm there now. What I have learned is that I'm there for God's glory and leading others to him. Sit at his feet, Yvette. And God will order your steps on what and when to move. That's it. So Yvette, go in that office today. Get your coffee. Say good morning. Get to work. All right. I love y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. If the Lord says the same, take care of faith room and hold your head up, navigate and put God in the forefront. Take care. Peace.